Night number two of the Playa Azul IMCA TV Winter Nationals powered by Yuma Insurance and RV World is in the books and the stock cars are what we're highlighting tonight. It was two, three, four, and five wide racing at times and Shelby Williams out of Bonham, Texas put her on the spot in the podium in victory lane. Let's take a look at the highlights. Working off a turn number four, the green flag is up and we're underway. And they're gonna go three wide into turn number one. Lon, just like last night's gonna rip the top side. They're still three wide off of turn number two. Let's make sure Bo sees him out there. He does see him. They're going to be three wide. Probably a little bit more give and take tonight in the MC Stock Cars after the big main event wreck from last night. Ah, oh, they'll be three deep down the front straight away. Kurtland's got to make a run to the outside. Got him, Kurtland, on the reach lead. Porsche is going to get on the binders. Working down there on the burn. Partain to the outside. There it is, way to the top. The 87 of Kurtland under in with Paul's Minnesota. Here comes Paul Stone. Got a pair of oh -ho! Almost had her five and maybe looked like it was going to be six deep off of turn number four. I tell you what, I love IMCA stock cars. Lund is going to clear. It's going to be a race to the checkers. It'll see that 82 is Shelby Williams right there, your leader. Here comes the 21 of Horse. Horse is tied around the bottom. Here comes the 82 of Williams back off the bottom of turn number two. Down the back straight away they'll go. Half circuit remaining. Shelby Williams, bottom Texas racer. Jim Horse going to give her one last haymaker move. Madrid way up top to third, but it's Shelby Williams to the win. Shelby, first off, congratulations. I know last night you guys got towed in off of that big wreck. You guys went to work on this car right away last night. And it wasn't until just before wheel pack, and this thing was ready to go to the racetrack, was it? Yeah, we worked on it all night. Uh, anytime we'd get something done, we'd find two or three more things wrong. Uh, luckily, the frame held up. It didn't have no damage there, so it was just all bolt-on stuff. Uh, we took the whole body off, beat it out, got all the front end fixed. Uh, Asphalt paving helped me out. He had a bumper for me. He's got a B&B &B also. Uh, shout out to Paul for building a good car. Uh, BHE for the shocks. Uh, I've had some people I don't even know, but so many people come up and ask for help if I need anything. Uh, I just want to appreciate them, everybody back home, and uh, everybody that helps me get here. Tonight's mover and shaker and chocolate cake baker was Zachary Madrid. He was a plus 13 in positions. Put that thing in the number three spot. Zach, wow, tonight was a great night. Last night was a tough pill to swallow on so many levels, but tell us about how this night went, because it was a bit of a roller coaster ride, too. Yeah, I mean, started off pretty bad in the heat. I was uh, pretty frustrated, you know, but what do you do? It's racing, shit happens, and you just keep going. Um, we got it fixed up, ran the B. We were pretty good in the B, made a couple more changes, and I figured, I told the guys, I was like, you know, I'm, I know these guys, they don't like to get up against the wall like I do, so. What's a quarter panel? You can fix those. Yeah, you did some like TK annex up there with the with the right side up on the cushion and leaning on it a little yeah. bit. Uh, you were solidly like tenth or so, and then all of a sudden, just it seemed like towards the end of the race was just finding something. Yeah, they all kind of they cleaned it off for me off of two. I was not very good at the beginning. I kind of just held my own, and then those late restarts, I was getting stuck in the bottom and fell back. And as soon as I got my opportunity to go to the back to the top, I just I just went for it. I mean, there's nothing else you can do, I guess, at that point. What a difference a night makes. You guys were good in your heat race, and then the main event had a really good performance, too. Oh, we had fun tonight. We, we did have a pretty rough day uh, from that wreck last night. You know, we worked all day, started about 8 o'clock this morning, hunting down parts. This thing's, everything's just barely hanging on it right now, you know. <laughs> a little bit of bailing wire and some gum, but. <laughs> we can't do attitude. Can't do attitude. Yep, yep. It's, it's pop riveted <laughs> everywhere on this thing. But, uh, no, we had a good fun night tonight. Struggling a little bit still with the, the modified, but the stock car, man, I've been having a great time with it, having fun with it. Finished P4 tonight for the uh, IMC stock car, but that really doesn't tell the tale of the tape. I mean, you guys were you were guys up there in contention. Oh, yeah, we were having fun up there. At one moment, I think we had gotten into about second. Um, uh, we were kind of running on a crutch a little bit. Uh, early on, probably top five. Uh, me and the 21 car got a little bit together at the flag stand. I kind of tagged the fence right at the flag stand, and we lost the right front shock. But, uh, yeah, he's going to show us here. Check this out, viewers at home. Yeah, we broke the right front shock off the car. Tried. Yep, there. right there. <laughs> Jeez. Well, so you, can still, you can still get around the track a little bit with uh, only three shocks. So, But that right front one, it's kind of important. <laughs> and remember, for all the great action, join us with that subscription or a nightly pass on IMCA TV for the Playa Azul IMCA TV Winter Nationals 
powered by Yuma Insurance and RV World from the Cocopa Speedway, the Diamond in the Desert.